Hello everybody and thanks for joining me. Um, so somebody asked, uh, can uh, you create the Star Wars scrolling text using Motion Studio? And the answer is yes you can, but, and there's always a but, the problem is uh, Motion Studio's characters limit is 120. So you, you won't be able to fit all that text in. But, um, let's just, for argument's sake, show you that it can be done. But like I said, you're not going to fit all the text in. So what's going to happen now is, let me just resize that so you can see this. So as you can see, I've only got a very small section of a long time ago, far, far away. And that's it. And then it's cut off. But just to prove to you that it can be done, uh, let's go to text. And let's go text motion. And all we need to do is find the same effects and it should be here and there we go so so as you can see it can be done but um, like I said the character limit is going to cause a problem so how do we go about doing this well very simple if you're going to do scrolling Star Wars it, uh, effect why not just use video studio Ooh, can it be done yes of course it can be done so let me just clear this out. Alright, so how do we then create it? Well, simple. Go into your title track, double click, and then write out your text. Now I've done that already. Uh, I'm just going to press Control V, and here is the long time, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. So I've got all that. Now, if you're going to do it, obviously you're going to make it neater. You're going to justify the, the edges, and that nah, I can't be bothered with that because I'm just trying to show you how to get the effect right. Now, also, um, A B Gino, if you're watching, uh, you requested how do you make it scroll faster or slower? Well, the duration depends entirely on the length of your clip. Uh, okay, so to do that, just make sure you have a, about 10 seconds. So you're going to get a, a relatively uh, easy, audible, uh, readable text. There you go. Alright, so how, how is this then done? How is this scrolling effect done? Well, very simple. You go into Attributes, uh, Apply, uh, sorry about that, Apply. It would help if I highlight the actual clip so you can see what I am doing. So, Apply, you go, uh, drop down menu and choose Fly, and you choose the first one. So you can highlight that and then you go into customs always just to make sure everything is in order enter the text from the bottom exit the top and no pause in the middle and that's how we then get to see this cool effect but now it's not in perspective so what we need to do is we need to create this into a video file because once we've done that we can then put it into our overlay track giving us the perspective notes so how do we do this go share create video file and then tick same as project settings well you can choose any one you want but same as project settings says it all doesn't it uh, I've done that already so I'm not going to bore you and make you watch me render it out so I'm going to grab the same clip put this now into my overlay track and there you go I'll just maximize this because I like working in the maximize windows original size speed it up so I can see my text and I'm just going to adjust my green perspective nodes I'm going to bring it into the middle same with this one and you will see instantly we now have the Star Wars effect all I need now is that music and you would think you are going to watch Star Wars so there you go ladies and gentlemen if you want to create the Star Wars scrolling text effects simply use Video Studio and as always thanks for watching